Hello, internet friends. This is Too Old for Gaming, and today we're playing a 10v10 on Lelena. I am playing as the Finnish 17th Division, and I will be focusing on capturing this flag, maintaining control of this one and this one. If we're really lucky, we can push here, and if I don't get obliterated, I can help with the bridge flag. So, hope you guys enjoy this one. Uh, I'm coming in with a ton of infantry, because that's kind of what you got with this team. I uh, only have T26Es for uh, tanks, and um, for AT I have 45s and the Vickers 75 mil, which can do 145 a pen, but I think you only get two at the beginning, and I had to dismount early to help take out that plane. It's going to take them a while to get into position here for Overwatch. I have a um, the Ketone du dual 20 mil here. Looks like one of my trucks was blown up already, but I have um, I have one squad out here who's done the same to this Ranger squad. 45 is set up. They moved in a little faster than I thought they would. I've got a Panzer Shrek squad here that took out a vehicle, and I've moved up another one of these squads up here. My Leyte did take out an M2 half-track, which is nice. They have uh, dual Leytes, and um, just took out another one as well. So uh, these squads are nine-man squads for 15 points. If you guys have watched my channel before, you know I love the 15-point squads. I have uh, a commander backing them up here to give them extra veterancy, and I have this machine gun watching the road. This match is starting out really fast. He's got a uh, Sherman here in the town. My 45 is just bouncing off of. I managed to get control of this sector, so his tankos are killed, but now I'm facing artillery. And my 45 is destroyed. I'm moving up to 26 to help out in case he starts pushing through here again. I did bring in the 81. I think he's set on defensive fire right now. And uh, unfortunately, these disheartened squads are being pushed back due to their quick suppression. Uh, unfortunately, with the 17th, you do not get MPs. So there's no way to stop them from surrendering or... Uh, Retreating. So the surrendering is honestly really the biggest issue. So I've got a sniper here uh, giving me vision. Another sniper over here who's attacking these double vetted rangers, machine gun squads. Unfortunately, my guys are getting pushed back, but he's not making a move forward. And if he's got squads up here, they've been suppressed by the 81 mil mortars. Moving in, another Panzer Shrek squad to try to deal with that Sherman. And I'm trying to cover... It's, it's hard to get coverage in the houses with uh, heavy machine guns in this town. So they're in kind of odd locations, but I can see down this road. I can see over here. But, like, I don't know, maybe it'd be better here. My Leahy is shooting at that uh, Sherman. Unfortunately, it's just bouncing a lot. I do pop smoke and fall back after he gets suppressed and pinned down. And I'm bringing up another 45. I'm a little bit worried about getting destroyed on the way in. So, just might on the back here, and I think I'm going to walk him up. I've got more uh, Leahy's coming in. My T26 here is spotting these rangers walking down the street, so it's doing a good job of chewing them up. Now we've got 60s firing back at us. And uh, this is actually, it might not look like the best position, but it actually was really good being in these swampy woods over here. So Sapiri do advance and... Uh, they take out the lazy squad, but as I mentioned, I brought in another one, and now I've got this Panzer Shrek squad, because, again, all you've got is 45s uh, with this deck, and then your anti-aircraft Vicar is gone. And I really... You never know if somebody's going to bring in a ton of planes or not. I don't want to sacrifice these. I, I, like I said, you only get two. I 
I'd rather keep him back at 1750 range, so if he gets out in this area, he will get hit. Maxim starting to suppress the superiors. And the squads that fell back are being spotted out in the open now as they fire at the superiors. But like I said, I'd really wish they had a military police type of unit in in this division or some of them actually have the discipline trait on their leaders they've got nothing which i think is a little weird maybe they'll change that in the future because i can't really think of another one where you've got a ton of disheartened troops available without any mps so i am bringing in a second t26 and uh, I do have some Sturmies. But our ranges are so close here. I'm never going to get out to 1,500 or 1,750 meters. So I'd rather save the points and use these 20-point tanks to help with infantry. But keep these guys kind of back a bit in case I get a breaking shot on a, um, on a tank. But... You know, look at the, he's, he's got, there's not a lot peeking out here. So trying to get into view, let's say I wanted to put a Stug over here. He's going to get destroyed by this IS-1 because he's using the building as cover. We've got a P-38 coming in. He's catching all these Sturmjägers out in the open along with the M-8. So that's looking pretty bad, especially if you're going to lose a triple that. T26 battling with the Sherman. Not a good matchup. He is destroyed. These guys do have the magnetic mines for AT. And I noticed his superior are suppressed, so I have moved him up. To see if I can maybe destroy that Sherman. I didn't really think of a Sherman as a really big tank to battle, but when all you have are 45 mil AT guns. Not really much you can do unless you get in close. So, this guy's been up for a while. It's the one I put in the woods here. And I still have the sniper. In case somebody tr tries coming down the road, he's going to be able to see anybody who tries flanking here. Maxim getting sight on, I think those were some autos. And I'm moving the Leyte up so that I can destroy this M2, as I did earlier. So, starting to push back into the town. My mortars are trying to hit that M2, it appears. And I'm moving this 45 up. Maybe I can get him in here and get a side shot on that. Leyte spotting M2 goes down to one shot. Phenomenal. These guys need to fall back, so I pull them back. You don't really, have, you don't really have to focus on a huge area. It makes it a bit easier to manage your, your team if you're doing something in a town like this. The only problem is almost every match you're going to get off mapped because your team is concentrated into a small sector. But that's just the way 10 v 10s go, and that's part of the reason why I like to use the cheaper infantry. If some of these is going to get destroyed in the beginning by off-map, well, I'd rather have it be a 15-point infantry squad than a 20, 25, or 30-point squad. Especially when there's nothing I can really do about it. So, these guys fell back. I need to move them back into place, but I'm kind of focusing on my management over here. Moving the T-26 up, and we have that Sherman still causing havoc over here. I did move up the Stu. And I'm moving this Leyte up. M10A1 goes down to something. Maybe it was that Puma over there, or it was my 45. No, I don't think it was the 45. 45 is spotting this PTRS out in the open. Sturmy is destroyed. I'm not sure from where, but that's, again, the reason why I really didn't want to have to move him in the town. It's very dangerous to bring in equipment. And it might have even been him, and I didn't spot him. But now he's doing something foolish. 
and I'm able to magnetic mind destroy Sherman. So that was a blessing for me. I've got this Maxim back into position over here, and we're seeing these tankos out in the open, so that's very nice. And we've captured this flag because uh, my teammate to the right has moved his squads up, which is awesome. Love seeing that. All the guys who ran away are kind of out of my vision, so they're not really doing anything over here. But just having these Maxims, even though they're only a thousand meter range, pushing those guys all back, and also making it so he can hold on to his position. He's also got Panzer Shrex, but he's getting hit by that Staghound, so he should really move into another building. My, unfortunately, my leader is destroyed by the first round of heavy artillery, and now he's shelling my position. At 45, he's probably going to be destroyed. He's not in cover. And then these guys, again, retreat at anything, so it's kind of tough when you're under hardy fire. So I've moved in another 75 into the woods over here, shooting at that sea fire, and both of them are in range to fire, and then my dual 20 is in range, so the sea fire is destroyed. However, he's got good information now on what I've got going on here. Got some more infantry coming in. And at 45, I'm trying to move up as well. And uh, to our left, team has managed to capture the bridge. That's huge, especially we're pretty fairly early in the game. To the right, they're having struggles to get to this flag. And it's possibly due to artillery or aircraft. So... Got another platoon of men coming in. And as soon as they bring him in, there comes the off map. So, fortunately, my recon fails, but he's destroyed. My 45's destroyed. All these guys are taking casualties. Everyone's being pushed back. Even my 20 mil was within that range of that circle. It's pretty huge. I, I've got one squad up here and then the tank. Hopefully they will live. Lost another squad. Another squad. Oh, you know what? I was. You know what? I, what I said earlier? I was wrong. I did have MPs. I just brought them in in phase B because I had so many disheartened troops to bring in. I wanted enough in case they got wiped out. So I take back everything I said originally. Totally forgot that they had those. We all make mistakes. T-26 is holding things off here. Attempting to hold off a platoon of Soviet infantry so that I can get infantry back in this area. And now all we've got is rubble. And I'm left with a Maxim, the Akari, a falling back T-26 who's destroyed by 14.5, a Panzer Shrek, and um, Recon. So, not the best. I do have my sniper in the woods here, though, who is holding these guys back, and this guy's suppressed too. He's getting hit by triple vetted LMGs. So, I brought in a Maxim over here. All these guys are in range and they're out in the open. And my Vickers is firing down here where they can see him out in the open as well. The Yakari is destroyed. And he knows that I have a defensive line here, so the shells are coming in on the Vickers and the Maxim. Again, disheartened, fall back really fast. But uh, I've got more coming in, and I was out of um, 81s. It did. I had brought in two others. We didn't look at that earlier. So I've got 120s coming in. Have it set to defensive fire. And uh, a bunch of 15-point infantry coming in. I also brought in a bomber. It's got 200, two 500 kilogram high explosive bombs. He does get him off. Bofors is making him damaged. Let's see what happens here. So that was massive. 
the entire platoon of these guys are falling back. My guys are falling back as well, but I'm getting them off the point here and moving in these really small squads of infantry. Vickers doing a good job of firing in on the town. And the artillery fire is coming in. So remember, I've got 120s falling in the sector as well. Yeah. And I did manage to move these guys kind of a bit. So this still has eight men in it. He's very suppressed, but I also still have two men in my sniper squad. You can see he's working fairly quickly to take those guys out. Another sniper squad up here now, and infantry on his right flank as well. So I've got one full squad. And these guys actually have actually three full squads here, so... Not bad. Now he's trying to shell my sniper, but I'm noticing that you can see the move orders going on. So if you get off map and they destroy your entire army, and you're only in phase B, don't worry about it. Just counter battery them, fire on the position they're moving into, bring an aircraft something, get them suppressed so they can't get a good foothold, and then push your infantry back in. So I've got three more squads coming in here, and then I'm bringing in these BT-42s. A recon uh, squad, uh, Kev OS, is destroyed. Now we're dealing with an IS-2, but his vision is only over here. So I've got an SU-85, who is now firing down the road at my T-26E. Actually, no, he's firing at the Air Panzer. He's destroyed by it. Maxim out here in the swamp, doing a good job of keeping these commandos pinned down. And I'm just kind of moving these guys around because I'm just constantly taking fire. So we're taking sniper fire from this commando leader. I've taken my BT-42. I noticed that, so I take my BT-42. And he's going to start firing at that church. Let's see if we can see it. Boom! It goes down. Very cool. So, um, we might have lost, I don't know, 200, 250 points with all the cheap stuff we had in here, um, but we're already back in, so I don't know how much he spent on the off-map and then the rest of the infantry that got wiped out after, but I think points-wise, I'm probably doing better. Now we've got Naval Warfare 150s, does destroy the Staghound and those commanders, are getting, or excuse me, commandos are getting suppressed. Still moving the Vickers around. My artillery, these guys are still in defensive fire, but we've captured that sector. I haven't adjusted them yet. So I've got a whole platoon over here. It would be really great to bring in a leader and uh, MP. I'll probably bring the MP first, to be honest. Let's see if I do that. Sniper still watching in case he's trying to push me out. I've got another one over here. So if he pops his tank over, he's going to lose one right away. So fortunately, I do have a little bit of support. We've got some Panzergrens and... Uh, SKDF Z251. The Jaegers over here have managed to capture the bridge. But they have not captured the rest of the town here. We're starting to get shelled again. And we are going to be dealing with an IS-2. Maxim spotting tankos, but the IS-2 is spotting him, so it's not... Not great. So I did bring in MPs, if they can unload. So that'll keep those guys from surrendering, make them fanatical. Lost another squad over here. I didn't catch what it was. And hopefully I'll notice sooner than later that the uh, DB3 is ready to go again. 
So still have the 75 up, still have the sniper up and the Maxim. Still got Overwatch over here. I think he's got to be like just out of range, yeah. BT-42 is firing on uh, the IS-2's position and any infantry that retreated back here. So I did notice that this DB was available, so dropping more bombs. There goes one. Maxim's just been firing away. All the way down here. So these guys are pretty wounded, but you see that he's not running away anymore. They're just pinned down. I think I built some decks where I bring in these MPs in phase A instead of phase B. I may change that. Instead of bringing in more in phase B, because I think you get eight or ten in B and two or four in A. But they're beefy squads. Ten men. So I might switch that up in the next deck build. So I still got the BT 42 firing. Now, I know when I brought in the aircraft, I don't think we saw it. There had been that uh, Bofors over here. I'd like to destroy him so I can bring it in more frequently. And uh, we've got 120s falling on us now. Now we're going to deal with the Sherman. Still got the 75 here with 16 rounds of AP. And so, I think as we've looked at this match, we've only lost this flag for a minute or two the entire time. It'd be great if we can recap this one, because we had that earlier. Sherman's firing somebody down here. Soviet guards are pinned down. And I brought in a Sturmy. Sometimes guys will bring tanks through here so that they can get your reinforcement road. And remember, we were dealing with that SU-85 earlier, and I'm noticing that we've got the Sherman now. So it's kind of leaving him back, because if you remember earlier, we lost this guy as soon as we brought him into the town. Check out the rest of the team. Still battling at the same front line here. They're a great job of... Pushing through to this sector, it'd be nice if we could advance here, but I doubt it. Because he's got eyes on him with his T-34-85. T and the left has uh, completely dominated the map, so... They push over, it's going to be real hard for this area. So, lots of infantry. These guys are being suppressed. I do have that leader now. And... Uh, I would hit this BT-42. Something hit the BT-42 affected its sights. Who is this IS-2? So, I did bring in another 120. It's firing right in this sector. Unfortunately, right now, everybody's pinned down. But if they're in the range of this guy, they won't surrender. And these guys are fanatically. Maxim still putting in work here, along with the Vickers, and I brought in a second sniper. So this is our new sniper. This is the guy who's fired a man like 80 rounds. And we've got some Neville Warfare fire, which is making my life easier. I've got two BT-42s now. One is the larger circle because his optics were damaged. But still, there's a lot of concentration there, so I'm not really worried about it yet. I will bring in a vehicle to repair that and resupply it. Alright, so Von the King Paul has been kind enough to let me know he's bringing in artillery over here. DB3F just went back online. So I'm trying to push this way. I know he's got already coming in. But in our objectives, this flag anyway. So 
Got a sniper up here. Got a couple of these infantry squads. Need to move this guy into a position where you can see down the road, and then I'm moving all these guys forward. The leader is suppressed, unfortunately. Should be moving this guy forward. DB3 gets its bombs off. So that was right on target. He's right in between there. So he's definitely damaged, but it doesn't look like it destroyed him. We're at an 1814 with nine minutes left. So now let's take a look at this guy. That's some damage. Oh, driver got knocked out by the 45. I'm dropping more BT uh, rounds on him. This guy wasn't pinned. Be able to take him down. Forty-five, just plugging away. Sniper is able to see what's happening over here, but they are pinned. So, units, all my mortars are out of ammo right now. Did bring in a commander. Need to bring in some resupply trucks. But I've got already support from the rest of the team, so it's not my biggest priority. I'd rather focus on taking territory. So we do get a penetration by the 45 at about 750 meters up front. Bouncing off that IS-2, though. And my snipers are no longer fully suppressed, so they are pinning these guys down. I moved in a, a stew. And I do have a beefy AT squad, but enemy artillery is really pinning us down. So he's all concentrated here. I noticed that, Don't and shoot. my resupply trucks have come in. Don't shoot. So hopefully I can use Don't these 120s shoot. and these BT-42s to keep them in that position. The sniper does take out a guard squad. And now that looks like 300 mil double warfers, and a, he does destroy that IS-2, so really big help there. Direct hit. So I know my guys are kind of concentrated here, but I don't think he sees any of them. And they're not fleeing because I've got you know, my commander and my MP over here. Still have this um, Vickers up, Sniper up. Looks like they've recapped the bridge and are dropping some pretty heavy artillery over here, but they're dropping it on nothing. Unless that was us. I don't think that was us. So, we've got this flag back because uh, we've kept these guys pinned down. Panzer Shreks, or excuse me, Panzer Shrek, Panzer Grenadiers have moved back into some buildings over here. I'm trying to move my AT up, and I'm looking at the front line, so I'm dropping bombs right here because I'm assuming he's got something up that far forward. We've got six minutes left here, and it's already switched over to a 1913. So, you see the line moved after I dropped that bomb. I'm assuming I blew somebody up. Maybe, maybe not. So 20 mil is going off over here. And, uh, just dropping rounds on this area where all those guys got forced out. So I have a second bomber I brought in, and I think I dropped it over here. I'm sorry, guys, I missed it. Looks like we've got more 120s going in, takes down an M10, and then damages the second one, and all these guys are just clogged up. So, two minutes left, 2012. Covered on the roadway. Moving some infantry in over here. Probably move these guys up. 
and I've got more and more bombers coming in. I've brought in another one to drop over here. And uh, I think we saw those guys fall back from this bomb drop. They're just getting absolutely crushed with artillery now because it's all swamp. So they only have a small area to come through with reinforcements and they're just going to get absolutely murdered. Look at all these... Look at all these recon planes. These are the ones with the bombs, yeah. So we got a minute 20. I think you guys can tell which way this one's going to go. Um, I think, like I mentioned earlier, if I were to change anything about this build, I would probably bring in the NPs Phase A instead of Phase B. But um, pretty happy we're able to maintain control of this flag 99% of the time and capture this flag, helping increase the tick rate. Uh, they never made a breakthrough over here, and um, never broke through over here, so... It's always good to have good players covering your flanks. It looks like they did shoot down one of my aircraft at the very end here. I see guys who do nothing but bring in artillery or nothing but bring in aircraft, but I've never never really enjoyed playing it that way. I have much more fun playing with infantry combined arms rather than um, just focusing on one one thing, especially aircraft. I, I feel like I lose them pretty frequently, and this map is one of the few maps where I'm not immediately shot down by anti-aircraft. that the guys on the alleys are still here. <laughs> Let's take a look really quick. This has stayed about the same. We never got that flag. Never got that flag. They did make a pretty significant push over here. We were never able to push forward. However, did maintain these two flags, so... Alright, that's a new one for me. I think there's something going on with the server, so we won't be able to see the stats right now. Maybe I'll cut in something later. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, if you did, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.